about personal growth. I saw a man online that sells. Think of where you focus or you plan to be five years ago. That is where you are now. And some people were actually retweeting or commenting like, lie, lie, it can never be. No, we mean they dream this nonsense. Inside brought to you by scripting. Thank you so much for joining the show. It is always a pleasure to be here before you like all the time so that we can just talk about things relating to lifestyle, beliefs, and orientation. So, like I said earlier, it's about personal growth. Let's talk about personal growth because to some people they don't even think they, they grow or they've grown. And honestly, is it really possible? Some people to grow and not realize that they've grown. That is just it. So let's talk about personal growth. What does it mean? And talking about personal growth is not just about you, okay, driving Benz, driving Lexus, driving this, driving that, and then earning 100 billion, having 100 million in your bank account. Personal development comes across self awareness, aspirations, dreams quality of life, human capital, potentials, talent, identity, self-knowledge, and self-awareness. So talking about personal growth, it consists of activities that develop a person's capabilities and potentials. It tends to build human capital, facilitate employability, and enhance the quality of life and the realization of dreams and aspirations. So that is what personal growth really means. Not that seeing what I explained earlier, like, okay, just because you've not started earning that, um, let's say five million or two million, you still don't have a million error in your account, that doesn't mean you've not grown. That doesn't mean you've not achieved a bit of your dream. Let's be, let's be serious with ourselves, yeah, because I'm not here to lie. I'm always here to tell you guys the truth. So talking about personal good, there are so many things that cut across personal good, like I explained earlier. And there are five areas of personal good. Five areas of personal growth that are so evident, like the five specific areas of personal good. And the first is the mental area. And talking about the mental area, it is the first of the five areas of personal growth Seriously, you can't grow physically or in other aspects without growing your mind first. Our mind controls everything. So that is why we say our mental growth is one of the five most important parts or aspects of growth. So you can partake in many personal, mental personal development activities. So another area is the social area. And this category is all about improving your communication. People will say, okay, even if you are into business or even if you are working for a person, for an employer, seriously, networking is very, very important. That is why people who tend to like upgrade themselves, be it jobs, going for courses, when you get enlightened, that is when you apply for some courses and it involves you to be social. And for those doing business as well, networking is very, very social in life. And can you really, really achieve this networking without developing yourself socially? I was almost uh, yesterday and someone was saying, okay, she sells a good for like 4,000 and she saw it online someone selling that type of good for 7,000 and she was like oh my god I sell mine for 4,000 and this person is selling ours for 7,000 and that doesn't mean she won't see people that won't buy it. people will definitely buy the goods so something very important is your networking and the social area covers it next is the spiritual area and spiritual personal growth can mean something different from each person Obviously, we have different views, so it can mean something different. But the best way I know how to describe it is anything that brings you peace and helps you connect to your true self. I would say spiritual, the spiritual area or the spiritual growth is anything that gives you peace and connects you to your true self. The activities that fall under this category could be anything, either by you. Probably praying or, or, or reading your Bible, reading your Quran, any form of holy group, but you trying to have a one-on-one -on -one communication with God. That's why I said it means something different.
different to some people. It doesn't really mean the same thing for the same, for people. Also, we have the emotional area. The emotional area can also be it is because it can be so easy to brush it off. And doing this or saying this, it makes us realize that it is not really healthy not to not to not to be balanced emotionally, not to grow emotionally. That is why you tend to interpret something wrong with us. It is so necessary for us to grow emotionally. When people hurt you sometimes you don't you even feel it. You know when you are when you are not growing emotionally things will bother you. Things will, things will bring you down, things will disturb you, you tend to cry easily, you tend to bother yourself easily, why do you need that? Please grow emotionally. And the last area is the physical area. And by now I hope that you've seen that personal development is well practiced, all should be well practiced. And we are not only focusing on one aspect here, that will be important to know that it's calm when it comes to time to choose your personal activities. Choose these five areas I just mentioned. So another importance of personal growth is you learning to control your anger, anger rather. Whether it is intellectually, morally, physically, or anyone I just mentioned, it is the direct result of effort made to improve yourself. And in some examples of personal growth include you learning to control your anger learning to overcome the urge to procrastinate taking time to be there for your body through exercise and an healthy diet learning to become more responsible learning to break the habit of laziness learning to be more considerate changing your mindset and adopting a more positive attitude so you might not have achieved or you might not have grown in some areas probably grown much in some in, in your career or in your education but with the things i just explained seriously you might not even realize it. if you are able to control your anger my brother my sister you're growing if you are able to prevent procrastination you are growing if you are able to be more considerate seriously that is one of the huge growth of life and you don't know probably these things you're telling learning to do or you've grown to be is actually preparing you for the future preparing you for that mighty breakthrough so we can say also there are strategies for personal growth why should i come here without telling you strategies to personal growth you really really need it and the one is the first one the first strategy is for you to keep learning and that is the ability and the desire to learn our powerful skills and that can have a positive impact on many areas on your life including professionally so if you take see we learn every day even those in their 60s 70s 80s they learn every day that's just the fact so if you tend to learn you tend to know new things new things every day you are growing personally you are growing it will have a positive effect in your life in your decision as well and the next one is you volunteering your time volunteer your time and volunteer opportunities are a wonderful way to do some good learn some new skills and gain valuable perspectives why volunteering gain why volunteering there are skills that a volunteer coordinator would love to teach you but you might otherwise never learn it so when you tend to volunteer things seriously you are even gaining experience and with the way you volunteer things you don't even know maybe a volunteer job you've done or something you volunteer to do is what would lead you to your breakthrough so always learn to volunteer even when you learn to volunteer you tend to learn why you're volunteering you tend to be experienced when volunteering and the third strategy for personal growth is experience new things and places you experiencing new things and places such as volunteering and learning traveling is also a vital part of gaining perspective and it can be easy to forget that there are people and places that are radically different from what you are used to so um, the way people practice here in the west is different from the way people practice in the east or the north 
so when you experience new things and new places try to like notice or, or try to know how they practice over there and it improves your growth you don't know where maybe you where you're a rap and you travel to the east yeah them learn a little of their culture travel to the north learn from there you don't know whether your boss in the future could be an Aosa or a Hebrew so from the little things you've learned during your travel you can actually adapt it and you don't know whether you buy your your bosses act through that so through that act so it is also important and the fourth one is to get creative creativity promotes self-awareness which is an important aspect of personal growth and development always get creative always be creative with the things you do always be creative with your ideas always be creative with your abilities and lastly make your health a priority it is an health you've made a priority that will be able to do the strategies i have mentioned earlier seriously it is an health that you've taken as priority that would be able to show that okay you are you are growing you experienced personal growth you've experienced personal development if our health can grow that's just when your health is not okay you won't even be able to do other external things or other external responsibility and as you do this also learn to evaluate your life evaluate your goals evaluate your decision and with this viewpoint yeah let me call it viewpoint yeah with this viewpoint of my i hope i've been able to like share some tips on how to grow yourself personally and if you also have some tips to share please share as i've been waiting for your comments in the comment section and for the work as well i'll be wishing every workers happy workers day and as a worker obviously you need to grow yourself personally you need to grow yourself i am very sure these tips will be very very useful and if it is really useful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment and like and don't forget to share for others to enjoy and to like come your way again next week i hope you do enjoy your holiday yeah the public holiday i'm wishing you a blessed and week full of joy and to like come your way again next week i remain on last symbol bye